What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is your first time here. My name is Israel. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you all having a great Sunday, had a good weekend, and are ready to get back to work. Because baby, let me tell you, I gotta go to work tomorrow, okay? I got a job. I know I'm not making fifty thousand dollars a year a month on YouTube living with my parents, you know what I'm saying? So I have to go to work. But I also do this, you know what I'm saying? So let's get to it. I wanna oh, okay before I get started, make sure you hit that like button, it really helps out these videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh I wanna, you know, bring a, a little on watch Sunday to you guys and uh just bring out a couple stocks and hopefully help somebody out. So SOS, I really like this wedge that is forming here towards this resistance, about $9. Really like it. So on Thinkorswim, Venzinga also had a options alert for their April 9, $9 call sweep. And uh, so they are reporting earnings on the 2nd of May before open. And I, I don't know about you, but I'm expecting I'm expecting some good earnings and uh, hopefully we are gonna get a run up towards that earning but be mindful okay guys always remember buy the rumor sell the news it is very possible that SOS goes up towards those earnings and then right when they release the earnings it drops it happens very often even with great earnings okay if it, it happens to everyone Seen it happen. I seen, I seen it happen to Tesla, to Fubo, to uh, Clover Health. It happens. I seen it happen to Apple. Okay, so it happens. It, it's not hundred percent of the time, but it does happen. A lot of people are buying their way into the earnings to just dump their shares on earnings day. Okay, so just something to be mindful. But this wedge is looking really good. How you see, we are getting tighter towards this high resistance and normally the tighter it gets is either breakdown or break up or breakout right but in my opinion we are gonna see a breakout and remember the short the short float on SOS is stupid there is a lot of shorts here so I think if we break out of this nine dollar resistance we can see a very nice move towards twelve dollars relatively quick so SOS is one that I'm always been keeping an eye on it and I'm still keeping an eye on it and I wanted to share it with you guys. The other one is Sensionix. We talked about it yesterday. I really like this train here that we are holding. And we had a nice day on Friday. And again, this company I think is going to be one of those that is it kind of like slowly starts grinding up because he's got good stuff going on okay he's getting a lot of patents uh, health insurance company are starting to cover their product their uh, glucose uh, tracker uh, device the you know what I'm talking about the one that you can see on your smartphone and stuff like that so I think this company is gonna be like one of those slowly grinders and I like that okay I don't like when they get super overextended because that, that attracts the wrong crowd. So we don't want that. We want a slow, slow grinder. Slow grinder, and that's what I'm looking and I'm hoping that happens here on Cincyonix. I really like the company. I really like what they do. Excuse me. From a moral perspective, I really hope that it's a company that does well. And I know that you should not get attached to any company regardless of what they do. But this is one that I really hope that they, they do good because they are actually going to be helping a lot of people. Okay. And guys, the other thing that, I, that I'm pretty sure we're going to get some continuation this week is the NFT sector. So we are getting some crazy uh, sector hype on the NFT world the non-fungible tokens so when you have a sector run you're always gonna have a leader okay so look at look at this as a sector okay GME AMC KOS 
okay, OSS, and all those. The leader of the pack is GME, GameStop. So you could pretty much trade AMC looking at GameStop as if, as, as, as if you were trading a blue shirt company and you are keeping an eye on the spy to see what he's doing. Because the other ones tend to follow shortly after with like a, a couple minutes of lag. And that's, that's a way that you can uh, attack like AMC and all these stocks. Just keep an eye on GME and see what he's doing. Normally when GME starts running, the other ones will follow a couple minutes behind and the opposite too. When GME starts crashing, AMC, KOSS and all those are gonna crash right after too. And we are kind of seeing the same thing with the NFT sector. And in my opinion, TKAT, TKAT is the leader of the pack this time. So you have TCAT that went from $5 to $40. Crazy gap up here. Then we have this other green day, which is crazy that it's still close green. So this is what I'm this is what makes me think that we are gonna have some continuation this week because it didn't just completely like crashed. You know what I mean? It didn't completely die. This was a very exponential move. And again, I am not telling you, I would not, and again, this is my personal opinion, I would not be buying any of these, nor as an investment, and I would not go long on any of these unless I see a very, very, very obvious setup for a long trade, okay? TCAT, so we got TCAT on this uh, NFT sector, we got JFIN, see pretty much same move, we got OCG, not as crazy of a move, but still a pretty crazy move, went from almost $3 to almost $20, which is still very crazy. You got this crazy gap up and then another green candle on the daily. And you have this resistance up here. But if you see right here, that's where it stopped, okay? So do you see this run up, this run up right here? Look left in the chart, what happened? Resistance. You know what that tells you guys? It's not rocket science. This zone right here is full of backholders. Every time, let's say you bought on this area, which a lot of people probably did, okay? What happens? These people are being way under on the red for a long time if they are still holding. What happens as soon as this stock starts coming even near their average price? they are gonna start dumping their shares and that's what causes the resistance. It's not rocket science, it's actually pretty simple if you just look left in the chart. And that's how the resistance is gonna be created. So for this stock to break this high, one, an algorithm, 100%, and two, the inflow, the buying pressure has to be exponentially higher than the selling pressure, which is gonna be very massive. So I would not see these breaking this resistance anytime soon. And again, it's a sector craze. So you know what happens? You see SPI with the when the when it ran from like five dollars to sixty. Those these stocks and these kind of moves are very very dangerous. So I just wanted to bring it up to you guys and hopefully uh, help you understand that at least in my opinion, none of these NFTs are a good investment if you are gonna day trade them absolutely go for it you can make a lot of money on the long side or on the short side because they squeeze like crazy okay so you can get a pretty good run up dump your shares at the top and make some money real quick but i would not be holding this thing guys look at the range on this day okay it opened at 1371 it made a high of 17 dollars and a low of nine dollars and 46 cents that's an, an, like an $8 swing in one day. I don't think you want to be caught up on that. So on just I'll just be on the safe side, guys. And again, I think you already know my favorite SOS is going according to plan, grinding up, getting into this very tight wedge. We got earnings coming on May, May 2nd, pre-market. So be aware of that. We, are, we have touched this resistance a few times. So when you keep pushing to get that resistance and get rejected, keep pushing and get rejected, keep pushing and get rejected, 
eventually you are gonna eat up all this selling pressure in this area. And that's why these uh, wedge patterns, ascending wedge, are so bullish because you are kind of like wearing out this resistance until you make it so tight that it just blows up or cracks down. But there is gonna be other factors that are gonna make like help you identify the possibility that the crackdown on the price is gonna be more likely of the breakout. So I was I will still review SOS for you guys, you know, as the time comes by. But as of right now, it's looking beautiful. Nothing. I mean, I don't like I say I don't want these crazy moves. I don't. I'm not a big fan of these crazy moves. Yeah, you can make a lot of money quick, but if you're trying to hold the stock for a long time and uh, you have a, com a, com a conviction on this uh, uh, investment, but this is what you want, guys. You want some slow grind grinding up. You don't want to get the wrong crowd involved in the stock that you are invested. And that's exactly what happens. You got to think, you got all these scanners that all the day traders use. And what is mostly everybody trying to trade? The stock with the most volume, the stock with the biggest gap in the morning, that's the stock that is attracting the crowd that you do not want on the stock. So if the volume is mediocre and we are getting a slow, slow grinding up, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm not trying to make tons of money by tomorrow on this stock. It's more, it's more of a long-term hole for me. But yeah, guys. Uh, so SOS, SENS, SENS. I really like this company. And uh, that's what that's what it is. So on Friday, a very a company that it was, man, I know a lot of people lost their rear on this stock. And it's again because what we talked about in the last video, the algorithms and people buying the alg the algos exits and buying all the short all the short uh, shares. It was SPCB. This was some crazy action, guys. Yeah, you see this huge gap up. Let's look at the the price action on Friday. <laughs> look at this. At the open, straight down. I know a lot of uh, chat rooms that you probably got. You, you guys probably watch the live streams in the morning. You know who I'm talking about. Those guys, boy. I was watching it by the market open, and they were all buying this. They were buying the breakout, you know what I mean? They were buying the breakout, baby, and it did not break up, it it broke down. <laughs> so these stocks are very dangerous, guys. And if you are trying to invest, you have no business, no business buying this garbage up here. Don't do it, guys, don't, don't, don't FOMO, don't FOMO. I know it's crazy when you see it and you are on Twitter, and you see everybody, oh, I'm 100% up on my position, and this and that, and you want to get a little piece of the pie? But no, baby, no, don't do it, man. Don't do it. Protect your capital. Stay. Try to stay a little on the safer side. This right here, this is a day trader's dream. This is a short seller's dream. Look at all this buying, all this selling pressure up here. Wick, 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 wick. Why would they try to buy a breakout? Failed, 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 failed. And this was pre-market, failed. Right before the market opened, dropped. Tried to reclaim, drop. What happened at the market open? Gone, baby. Good night. All right, guys. Uh, let me know what you're watching for this week in the comments. Again, just a little recap. SOS is looking good. Since Yonix is looking good. And the NFT sector hype. Just be careful with the NFT sector, guys. That's uh, pretty much all day trading and short selling and, you know, momentum traders. Don't put your money on it. Don't put your money on it. It's not It's not going to end up well. And, I, and again, this is not financial advice. This is just my most sincere opinion. And that's where I think the outcome is more likely to be. So I hope you guys have a good Sunday and I will see you tomorrow. Peace out.